Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for How you gonna move for What you gonna be And do you believe What's up y'all? It's your girl and I for Kicks. We are in Miami at Sneaker Swap. It's Memorial Day weekend, so I have a feeling the turnout is going to be pretty good. We got a lot of people down here on vacation. We got a bigger event space. I'll let y'all see that in a second. Um, really quick on foot today, we do have a classic that a lot of people want to see retro. Got the Aqua 8, you know, some, some classic, nothing crazy hype. Um, speaking of hype, we did just have the Travis Scott Lowe's, the Jordan 1 Lowe's, the Canaries that dropped what, yesterday, women's exclusive. Um, I didn't hit, but I feel like so many people hit. So let your girl know in the comments, like, was that a W for y'all? Um, I'm hoping maybe we'll see a pair here. I did see an early pair, like, earlier in the year so i kind of want to see how the actual release quality compares to that um as far as what i'm looking for you know it's sneaker swap you never know what you're gonna find there's a little bit of everything maybe we'll find some sort of steal or deal didn't bring anything to sell but you know we're gonna hang out with we're here with mr jumper man chris as always see what he gets see what we get you know it's, it's going to be a vibe regardless guys so keep watching you know, so we know some hype has come out recently we've had the futura sp dongs we've had the rio j balvin threes we've had the canary travis scott jordan one lows but something not so hype but a lot of people seem to really like we've got the kd weatherman uh let me know i mean they're they're pretty clean guys and the like the sticky the grip on the bottom Balling in a pair of these would be crazy, but I mean, let me know. Would you? Is it something you would grab simply to ball in, or would you wear it as a lifestyle too? Let your girl know in the comments below. What are we doing with this, guys? It is clean though. All right, so the event hasn't even officially started, and this guy already grabbed a pair. First of all, let's let's look at what he has on See, feet. We got the J Balvin. Yeah. Up. Medellin that came out uh -huh. last year. So what you got in the Now box we're here trying today? to get the Rios. I just feel like the Rios is a good shoe. I want to get Rios, Canaries. I'm going to pass on Futuras unless they're good prices, but I don't think people are going to sell those for cheap. But I mean, those are like the hype shoes that came out this week. We got a lot of hype stuff this week. Hey, but you got you to gotta show them. Okay. What here, I'll hold the camera. No, all right. Okay, I can hold that. All right, here we go. I just put this up too. I hate the covers, bro. Like, it's annoying. It's cool. But it's, it's cute. A pain in the but ass. it's a pain ass. Keep yeah. bringing it out and back yeah. and forth. But here you go. Check yeah. them out. We'll do your little review so, on those. I, I could do a review. They're all right. I mean, I prefer the Medigines over these, but it, it is a clean shoe here. Yeah, you want to hold this one? All right. Yeah. See? Trade you. There you go. So, I mean, I prefer these. I like the lighter color, the sail with the you know the ombre. It's giving more of a sunset. These. I think it's just a too dark and too stark of a contrast, but it's a fire shoe. But honestly, if your girl was able to get a W on these, it would have been to flip for these. So I'm still on the hunt. So if you know anyone selling a size seven, I would even do a seven and a half. If you know anyone that's selling them used for a good price, let your girl know. But yeah, I mean, I think I already know the answer. What do y'all think of this shoe? It is, it is a nice shoe. Look at that nice bright orange. It's fire. Let me go give Chris his shoe back, y'all. All right, y'all. So we've got the Oregon Air Max 1s. I've already seen, like, several people in the Facebook sneaker groups with this pair. It is a freaking... I think it's a gorgeous pair. 
it's very eclectic. It's a lot going on, but it's giving your duck vibe. You know, you've got like the feather looking material on it. It's just got a little bit of everything with that. And then you've got that like iridescent swoosh. I mean, let me know. Like, is this something you guys are like, they did way too much or did they do it just right? And then you've got even the quilted, like, uh, insole in there, the satin lining. I think it's a beautiful shoe. If it was in the right price range, your girl would probably add it to the collection, but it's not even the right size. But let me know. What do you all think of this shoe, guys? All right, y'all, so I've talked about this shoe before when we grabbed it for hubby for his birthday, and I told y'all your girl was gonna get a pair in her size. We have the Kobe Italian Camo, which of course is your girl's size. It's not a bad price. They're asking 200, obviously, we'd see what we can do. Um, but like I just recently said, guys, the event still hasn't even officially started. We still got people coming in and setting up, so I think I'm gonna kind of play it out today. I mean, if they're meant to be, they'll still be here when I decide to come back. But if not, then we just look for the next seller. But guys, I mean, we, we've got the Italian camos, we've got the KD Weathermans. Like, we've already got a couple pairs that we've got our eyes on. Let me know, like, would you just go ahead and pull the trigger or would you walk around and wait it out? Guys, we could say fuck those other two pairs and put it towards another you know shoe that's a grail to a lot of people not your girl because it's that shade of blue i don't know that i can match it with anything i have but i mean guys we clearly have no shortage of size sevens in the house today and this thing is dead stock so um i don't know maybe maybe y'all would say scrap the other two and grab this but i just i can't i can't see myself wearing it like i'm gonna stay true to myself over the hype To play, to claim a brand new name, oh And I ain't gonna lie to you I'm a bit nervous that I might screw Everything up that I've ever done But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that Might miss, gotta find what I'm good at I guess I look here, look there Over where am I scared, where am I at? I gotta make it in this life Whatever makes me happy, no, I'm doing Um, yeah, I got a nice kick here in Fort Lauderdale Perfect uh, three questions for you. What is your favorite sneaker of all time? Well, it has to be the Concord 11. I wore my wedding. So. Wow, <laughs> for your wedding. That's so Did your husband up. match? Of course he did. Oh, we, we love that. That's amazing. Second question. What's the number one most worn shoe in your collection? Right now, my go-to are the Atmos Dunks. Atmos Dunks. Yeah. That's a beautiful shoe. Uh, last thing, what's another uh, sneaker that you're chasing right now? What's the shoe that you're looking for? Right is now, it's the J Balvin 3's Meta Like the Those, I needed them since they dropped last year. Oh, they're so fire. Yeah. Last thing, our brand is more than sneakers. We want to ask you, what is one thing you think the world needs more of? Just kindness. Like, yeah. people are not nice enough to each other. Basically. Yeah, so kindness, right? Yeah, kindness. Yes, yes. Sneakers and kindness. And I, I imagine you've met a lot of people through sneakers. Yeah, a lot especially of down here in South Florida. The community is phenomenal. Awesome. And what's your Instagram? It's an eye for kicks. So A-N-E-Y-E-I-V. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're released, but it was like an overseas Asian exclusive. You know, we're it's Year of the Dragon. Um, I know, again, this is another shoe that I've seen a lot of people talk about. I believe retail was a little bit higher on these because of the level of detail. I mean, all the way to the midsole, it's embroidered. It is absolutely stunning, guys. So, like, Again, your girl's always a sucker for details, and on this pair, Nike spared no detail. I mean, we've even got the beautiful gold little aglets, little lace tips on there for you. The, the insole, it is a stunning shoe, but we've also got a early look. Um, 
We've got the Verdi Dunk SBs. So you've got like the little the little character that the shoe is based off of. It's like this plushy, you know, character. So the shoe very is on point with that. It's a cool shoe. It's giving very like baby bear or one of the three bears dunks. Um, I, I like it. It's a fun shoe. Is it something that I would have to pay resale for? Probably not, but if I can get lucky on these for retail, I'd probably throw it in the collection and throw it on foot. Let me know what y'all think of this shoe. So, like I said in the beginning, you know, the big focus today was the J Balvin Medellin Jordan 3s. And while I saw plenty of pairs, none of them were the right size. However, we did we did stumble across a friends and family pair. Um, the only difference, really, now if you know another difference, let your girl know in the comments below. But I believe the only difference is the laces. So this one gives your like ombre, which matches the details on the back. So I mean, it's a it's a clean pair. I don't know that I would spend friends and family money for laces, but looks like your girl's gonna have to spend a little money for this shoe um, but guys I mean what better way to end off you know sneaker swap than with a, a dope friends and family pair um, it's been real it's been fun down here in Miami your girl is hungry so no time to wrap it up didn't grab any pairs today almost grabbed a the Kobe that y'all saw earlier but we're just ten dollars off so it's principal at that point but guys as always oh before I end Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you comment below. Give your girl a thumbs up. And as always, keep tuning in to I've Got My Eye On.